So the best way to break them up is to pose as her boyfriend online and then ignore everything that she posts, but like everything that other girls post. Oh yeah, it's a fine selfie, too bad we never actually saw it. Oh, look at the kitty. I've never seen a cute kitty online, especially not one from my girlfriend. Oh, smoke show. Definitely gonna have to like that. What, did you drop your phone in a bush? <laughs> Look at how overexposed it is. That's not artistic. You're awful. It's getting ignored. And then before you know it, jealousy. <laughs> and that doesn't make her any less perfect, okay? No girl wants to find out that her boyfriend likes other women's pussies more than hers. I mean the cats. Get your mind out of the gutter. What's up guys, welcome to Mischief to Couple 2 live action. That's right, many of you guys might remember I have played quite a few of these Mischief to Couple games in the channel, and they have gotten progressively weirder and weirder to the point where they're not even animated anymore. Like, they're real actors with less than realistic acting. Like, it's in that magical gray area where it's just bad and cringy enough to both laugh with and at. Now, if you've never seen one of these games before, the idea is we have a crush on the pink haired lady. But she makes our pee pee go doki doki, I think is how they say it. So we want her to break up with old K pop Chris here. The only problem is, I first need to figure out what kind of bass awkward scenario they have themselves in. And I can rarely do that, so I really just start to click around. It's a lot harder to figure out what you can and can't interact with when everything is live action. She's not wearing shoes. That's particularly strange. Can I give you shoes? I have gathered shoes. Okay. Would you like a pair of flip-flops, m'lady? Maybe the flip-flops will make you leave him? Uh... W w what? Wait, what? <laughs> Just go two steps back and, and get the flip-flop! How is that romantic? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like... I'm pretty sure Japan is a very advanced civilization. They definitely have object permanence over there. Alright then, so we don't want to give her any kind of footwear that'll lead to a Cinderella situation. In which case, I'm guessing we could just give her the lady's shoe? It's got a little bit of a heel on it, they're kind of cute and... <laughs> dangerous! Okay, th that one I could see as being at least a little bit romantic, but still... Well, as far as I can tell, that only leaves us with one more option, except I don't see how the tennis shoe is going to put you guys in a scenario where you're going to break up. But it's not just creating a romantic scenario, we need them to break up. Why is this shoe going to make you haul ass away from him? <laughs> okay, her hair may be Kirby pink, but her heart is Sonic blue. Come on, game, you can't be serious. You're gonna put a limit on how much time I can spend investigating the guy who's doing his best tree impression in the background? <laughs> I mean, it even kind of looks like the tree is wearing pants. And you guys don't even know which of the two I'm talking about if the impression goes well. <laughs> it's weird and uncanny. Speaking of weird, what are you up to, my little strawberry cupcake? listening to the sounds of a Coors Light, I would assume. But imagine it sounds very much the way that it tastes. Like water. Oh! Oh, I see. So you're actually talking to each other via string phone? Is that a romantic date idea? Just yelling sweet nothings at one another across twine? And just like that, I'm out of time. There goes the romance right into your head. Yeah, yeah, I, I deserve that game over. I'll actually try to do something this time other than be a smartass. I don't suppose you'd want me to call you an ambulance, would you? Or an arborist? I don't know, whatever your personal preference is. Because <laughs> you're not looking too good over there. Oh, we've got another cup. Okay, and a piece of string. Interesting, so maybe we can combine the two? No? There's got to be some way for us to screw with this signal. It doesn't seem to want... Oh, maybe you you need the cup. Okay, and then we'll be able to... Wait, what? Use that to, to intercept the love. What? Why, why can't I intercept the love? Oh, there's more string. Oh, okay. What if we try now? There you go. We needed a little bit more connection. So this way, you get half the signal. And that doesn't quite work out. 
The other guy looked really confused. He was like, you, you want to lick my what? I'm a tree. Oh my God, these timed levels are torture. Like, I don't even know what this means. <laughs> She's just sitting there all cute and patient waiting for him to fill up his many speech bubbles. Why are these all blank? He's thinking about her, but I don't know why that would matter. Uh, what? Oh, isn't that good? Yeah, I won! But I don't know why. At first glance, you might think this is a more typical dating scenario. You know, as opposed to constantly hanging out on stairs in the woods, getting followed by trees. But when you look closer, he's actually doing some kind of bucket hat magic on what looks to be her apartment floor. So still not the most romantic. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to break them up. <gasps> What's the deal with the hat? Uh, okay. It had a thing in it. I don't know what that thing was and it seems to be gone now. Maybe I can't take it out again. It's not in my inventory. <laughs> Can I take that from you? No. How about the flowers? This is very confusing. Okay, we've got a key. Maybe the key to her heart? No, wait, if that's the case, I don't want to give that to you. <gasps> what am I thinking? I don't get it. No, I'm just gonna run it. Screw it. Let's see what he can do. Wait. No, no, no. You didn't tell me he was an actual magician. <laughs> Even though I don't think that was a magician's work, that was really more wizardry. Magicians can't actually make things teleport. Well, clearly the key has to get used for opening something. Right? It wouldn't just be here for no reason, stuck to the back of a mirror, but the problem is there's nothing else here. Or not. We've got a little chest under the table that's filled to the brim with panties? <gasps> Wait, what? I mean, yeah, that'll work. Oh, perfect. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, skidoodle, skidoodle, used panties. <laughs> I'm 95% sure that's a direct quote from Penn and Teller. The other 5% of me doesn't want to get sued. I'm starting to think these last four days of breakups are really taking their toll on her. Like she's been sitting in bed all day just looking at pictures of kittens sitting like little people and flowers. Oh. This is a picture belonging to someone else. Interesting. Uh, she's got a picture of herself looking adorable as always. And another kitten. Except that belongs to someone else. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that would be the other hussy. I'm starting to see a bit of a trend. I probably need to be liking all of the other girl's stuff. Maybe I stole his phone? Oh crap. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, of course she wouldn't care if you like all of her stuff or not because she's perfect. That's why she's going to be my waifu. So the best way to break them up is to pose as her boyfriend online and then ignore everything that she posts, but like everything that other girls post. Oh yeah, it's a fine selfie. Too bad we never actually saw it. Oh, look at the kitty. I've never seen a cute kitty online, especially not one from my girlfriend. Oh, smoke show. Definitely going to have to like that. What, did you drop your phone in a bush? <laughs> Look at how overexposed it is. That's not artistic. You're awful. It's getting ignored. And then before you know it, jealousy. <laughs> and that doesn't make her any less perfect, okay? No girl wants to find out that her boyfriend likes other women's pussies more than hers. I mean the cats. Get your mind out of the gutter. Every scene where it's just one person is so awkward. They just stand there like it's the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> What are you looking at? What is this? Oh. Oh, it's some kind of cake. Let me guess. She's in here waiting for a slice. Okay, then. Can we do something to this? Maybe put some... Oh, uh... What did you just do? What was... I don't know what it... Are you, like, jacking off in the pot? What is that? <laughs> it's a very strange sound for you to make, sir. Look, we got the cake, but I don't know how to sabotage it. I could give it to you. Is that... that's probably bad. Yeah, because we don't want you to bring her the cake. 
We gotta do something to it. That way it'll be gross or poisoned or splooged on. I don't know, should I have put it in the pot? I could also use some clarification on what exactly the cake dome on the floor is. I've never seen something like that before. <laughs> Either way, we're clearly gonna need it. Oh, what if I just give it to you? No, I'm, I'm the one who made the floor cake. It was all me. <laughs> give me the credit. He's just out here staring at a wall and, and filling a pot. <laughs> I, I don't understand what that is. Well, the, he can keep doing it over and over again, which is kind of impressive when you think about it. If he's that fertile, then maybe I should just let them be together. She'll be a very happy woman. <gasps> I don't suppose... Oh. Ma okay, I see. So we've got, uh... Kind of stick a tuba something and a bowl. Why don't you fill up the bowl instead? Oh. Yeah, we got a... I, don't, I still don't know what that is. Something sploogy. Yeah, give her that. <laughs> I can think of a couple reasons why she might not like that, even though you can never be certain. Oh, of course, because she's perfect, like I said. <laughs> so close. Well, if that's the case, then I'm guessing we need whatever this is. Oh, it's probably wasabi. So if we put a little wasabi on the cake before we pick it up, then we can give that to you. And instead of me getting the credit, you can get the credit for being an idiot. <laughs> There's no way she would like spicy cake. Grace? I'm sure that's a thing, but oh, that is not a grape. Or a kiwi. That, that's a big old glob of wasabi. Now you can defend the existence of flames over the head. It's not that much of a stretch anymore. Judging by the wall and the mirror in the corner, this is the same room that they were doing bucket hat magic in earlier. Which makes me wonder... Does she just live in his basement? Or maybe they're having some kind of weird sleepover, the Harry Potter style, like kids rather than adult sleepovers. I'm just gonna run this. I can't even imagine what's gonna happen right now. Oh, you gave her a pillow. What is it, treat your captive day? Well, now that we know this, would we be able to replace the pillow with the bag of cement? No, I figured anything we put in his hands, he'll just hurl at her face. <laughs> I guess we could always get a needle and yarn off of the stuffed animal, the same animal from the bucket hat, mind you. Very interesting. <laughs> the pieces are falling in place. Okay, we don't want to touch the rose. I've already learned my lesson there. That is a love landmine. <laughs> Instead, we'll get Whatever this is, it looks like the kind of thing Magneto would use to break out of prison. <laughs> Not really sure about that. We've also got a uh, receipt. Oh, I think that's just a, a tag on the mattress. It's like I said, it's really difficult to figure out what you're supposed to interact with and what's just, you know, incidentally there. So did you want to stitch something up with that or? Okay. And then maybe, okay. So maybe it was a giant metal ball that you're now gonna hurl at her? Does that make any sense? I think that hurts. Maybe? Yeah. yeah, she's pissed. I don't know why she had a giant metal ball with a rose in a box, but we'll just go with it. I'm sorry, did that pillow fight just start World War III? What is this? Are you guys okay? I mean, she's clearly not okay. She's bleeding out. Oh, oh, what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, and you're dead. Well, that's probably not what you want to do. No, of course, they'll be together in the afterlife. So, it, it's not like they're playing paintball or something like that. He was shot dead. Well, this is an awkward situation. Does that mean I actually want to save you? Should I warn you about this dude? You, you go ahead and, and shoot him? Yeah, he's done. And now, I guess we could just wait. Because if you go over there, you're gonna save her. We, we don't want that. Just let her bleed out, and then you've got nobody left to kill you. <laughs> I really hope this works. It's kind of weird that I'm letting her disappear. Oh. It's, it's like a, a PUBG thing. Those were all PUBG items. 
<laughs> that makes a little bit more sense. You'd think after the whole wasabi splooge cake incident, she would have learned her lesson, but apparently not. <laughs> Back once again for her second birthday. Hopefully that's not the case. Otherwise, some of my comments are going to get me in a whole lot of trouble. What the sweet Christ is that? <laughs> uh, could you maybe just not love him? I was a little distracted by the terrifying dick puppet in the box that was left in the kitchen. Oh, you smug. <laughs> We're going to do something to that cake. Just you wait. No time to waste. We gotta grab ourselves a dick puppet and whatever else we can find in here. Is that a laundry board? Okay. I don't see how that's gonna help us. Oh, maybe we need to put put it in the box and then you can give that to her, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing ruins your second birthday quite as much as a dick puppet. He's real confused, too. He's like, I could have swore I bought her something to do the laundry with. Oh, this is different. Go to see SpongeBob SquarePants together? Yeah, meet at 1030. Oh, oh, OK. Uh, We have 10 seconds until 1030 to ruin the SpongeBob date. What am I supposed to do in 10 seconds? I got nothing. I couldn't even pick out something to interact with in that time, nonetheless how to use it. Oh, freaking SpongeBob ruins everything. Oh, we've seen levels like this before. Right, okay, so we're supposed to mess with the clock somehow. Like we switch these around, then suddenly he's two hours late because that's how time works, right? Yeah, well, look at the time. I didn't take my pants off and get tickets to SpongeBob just for you to be two hours late. <laughs> Fantastic. What were they gonna do in the theater without pants at SpongeBob? Actually, you know what? I don't even care. That just further reinforces my idea that she is the perfect woman. <laughs> now they are sleeping next to one another. Very different to sleeping together. What exactly can I do to haunt your dreams? I'm getting like paranormal activity flashbacks right now as if I'm supposed to be the poltergeist. Uh, we've got a remote without batteries. A remote to what? To this, maybe? Is that a heater? Air conditioner? Something like that? Oh, we've got, uh, batteries! Okay, so now that works. Is there anything else around here? We've got water and a screwdriver. I'm supposed to use a screwdriver in something here, I wonder? No, <laughs> screwdriver in the toaster would not end all too well. Screwdriver in this or this or I don't know, man. I got I got nothing. Okay, well I guess we can, yeah, change the temperature. So it is an air conditioner. What does that do? No, no, don't touch her. No, no, I don't want to see this. <laughs> that that's not gonna piss her off. She's, she's loving. No, <laughs> you're gonna be kidding me. But uh, what did I miss there? Was I supposed to jam the screwdriver in him? You guys are not gonna believe this. I have been struggling with this nonsense for like 20 minutes. I need to use the screwdriver on the lamp. And that way I can get a part of the lamp, which looks an awful lot like a cup. So I assume that means I need to get water, which looks suspiciously like pee, which makes me think I'm probably supposed to make you piss the bed yeah there we go a little something like that and now once we get the batteries and we make you roll over onto her she should be both literally and figuratively pissed <laughs> hopefully i'm not seeing any water but i think that's just a continuity error maybe yeah there we go no one wants to get pee rolled on <laughs> works for me I'm not sure which one I hate more, the little numberless clock that moves at random speeds or having an actual countdown of like 10 seconds until the level ends. I don't have enough time to even make a joke. Nonetheless, figure out what's happening here. So we're just gonna let it run, see what's happening. She gets out of the elevator. Oh, he was holding a drink. Okay. And then of course, she's gonna end up loving it. She's gonna strip off those baggy clothes and make an honest man out of him, I guess. Or right there in the hallway. We've got a thermometer next to the drink and a couple of buttons, 
but I don't know what the buttons do. What? Oh! Oh, one of them is a hand button, and then the other one is a flower button. So I guess I made him rub the drink the wrong way, and then the Starbucks genie brought him flowers? This is bogus. This is actually shockingly difficult. We only want to hit the hand. We don't want to hit the flower. So every time the hand comes over, then we do something like this. It's really challenging. Was that enough? I think that's good. That might be good. Hopefully it's nice and warm. You're not like, you don't like that. <laughs> you especially wouldn't have liked the fact that you came downstairs and I was doing this to the drink the entire time. Everyone in the lobby is staring at me. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Mischief to Couple 2 live action, guys. These games are just so freaking funny, and there's more of it, and there's more of the last one. I just keep moving on to the next one without finishing the one that I previously played. But if you wanna see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and we'll see what's going on with the PNG dude on the skateboard who seems to be trying to trap flies in his mouth. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.